How's it going everyone? My name is Mr. Boss for the win, as you guys already know that, and today I'm going to be talking about my favorite and possibly one of the best assault rifle setups in the game if you're just getting the game. So anyways, let's take a look at what I'm running. You can see it on the screen right now. Anyways, we are using the MTAR, which is essentially the TAR-21 with a different set of iron sights. Uh, this is awesome because this is the very first assault rifle you unlock. So you guys, if you're watching the video for the first time and you've never played, you can get this gun right now. I'm using it with a reflex sight. I'm also using it with the M1911 Rafka, essentially, which is the B23R. I have Perk 1 Greed, Lightweight, and Hardline. Those are my two standard first perks right now, just because I like getting around to places really quickly. And when I'm using the care package, I love to use Hardline A, because I get the chance to reroll, and I get it quicker. My perk 2. This time you can see I'm not using a perk 2 um, no, wild card, so I only have Cold Blooded. And what that allows me to do, like I said, is it allows me to to stay off the radar and, uh, you know, well, not off the radar, but if other enemy teams like air support and stuff like that. And then extreme conditioning, just move around the map a little bit more quickly. So I have a Simtex for a lethal and a shock, tar sh shock charge. Wow, excuse me. Now, the shock charge is a little bit overpowered, I feel like, because you can throw it down and it kind of acts like a bouncing Betty. It'll, you know, pop up and shock someone when it walks by. So, and it's really powerful, too. It stuns you. It puts its electrical charge on your face. And, uh, you know, it's sometimes it's kind of difficult to work around. Now, the map I'm playing on right now is Overflow. And, you know, I got a really good game when I played on this map. You can see I'm throwing the shock charge right now. And see see how it kind of stands there? That will stay there. And when someone walks by, uh, it'll electrocute them and it'll let me know that I'm there. But this map, Overflow, has a lot of little windows like that. And the TAR-21 excels, A, because it's got a 30-round clip. I really like it. And it's, you know, it's just like the one from Modern Warfare 2. It's got great iron sights. I just happen to be using the Reflex because, uh, you know, that is essentially the one that I unlocked after that game. Uh, and it was something that I wanted to throw on there. Now, this is a TDM that I'm going into by myself. Uh, I actually get on a pretty good streak here, but, I, I you know, I die a little bit towards the end. And uh, you can see that I'm on a... a pretty all right connection but this this gun just snaps from target to target and I'm able to hear that guy and turn around right there which is which is why I was able to turn around and get him so uh, you know and of course Black Ops 2 hasn't even been out one day and we see our first our first uh, penis emblem uh, which doesn't surprise me at all in the slightest but and the TAR-21 is an awesome gun, guys, because, you know, it, it packs a nice punch of speed and power, meaning it's not an assault rifle that, you know, you feel really clunky carrying around. It's got great qualities of an LMG, but it's also got the mobility of a submachine gun, which is why I like it as well. And another thing to add, it's got a really quick reload. I know that's not a whole, a whole really important, but if you wanted to add fast mags, that would be, uh, you know, another great combination that you could also use uh, in, in addition to that. I mean... I honestly just really like the TAR-21, uh, you know, it's probably my favorite gun in Modern Warfare 2. I can definitely say that it's becoming my favorite gun in Black Ops 2, and some of it just has to be because, you know, I like the feel of it. Uh, I can snap onto targets really well, and it works really well with other attachments. If you wanted to run a silencer on this, you could. If you wanted to run fast mags, you could, because the iron sights allow you to do that. Or if you're uncomfortable with uh, the iron sights, you know, no big deal, stick a reflex sight on it. So. Uh, that's what I happen to do in this case, and as you can see, we hand it to these guys pretty swell, so uh, the game is pretty much wrapping up right now. Anyways, guys, if you have liked this video, please feel free to drop a like on it. I would really appreciate it. It would help the channel grow, especially with Black Ops 2 out, and if you're new, subscribe. I would also appreciate it, but other than that, guys, have a nice day. I will see you in the next episode, and of course, I will talk to you later.